Let me make one thing perfectly clear. This is Baron von Baron. He is also known as Sam Sinister. This is Sly Boots. He is also known as Sam Sinister. This is Lord Sam Sinister. He is Baron von Baron. He is not Sly Boots. So, if anyone tells you that Sly Boots is Lord Sam Sinister, they are wrong and as bad, and standing small is a terrible source of misinformation and. Alright, sorry about that. I got a little carried away. This is a very confusing subject, even among the most hardcore LEGO nerds such as myself. It goes a lot deeper than just two separate characters sharing the same name and visual characteristics. It's no wonder that LEGO had to assign their very own detective to the case. So, perhaps it's best if we start from the very beginning, as we join the detective in solving the infamous Sam Sinister Switcheroo. But first, for the sake of consistency within this video, I'll need to establish some names that I will use to refer to each of these characters. I will be going with what I believe to be the clearest, most recognizable names among the fandom. Therefore, I will be calling these characters Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Harry Kane, Baron Von Baron, Slyboots, Pharaoh Hotep, Senor Palomar, Rudo Viano, Caparro, Hachu, Mike, Mr. Cunningham, and Alexia Sinister. Build your own adventure, if you dare. The year is 1998. Lego has launched a brand new product line, Adventurers. Inspired by the popular Indiana Jones franchise, this series features two teams of rival explorers, archaeologists, and treasure hunters competing with one another in search of priceless ancient artifacts. The noble heroes seek to merely photograph and study the treasure, or bring it to a museum for the whole world to see, while the greedy villains want to keep it for their own private collections. The inaugural year is set in Egypt, perhaps the most iconic setting for the entire theme. It put its best foot forward and gave LEGO builders instant classics, such as Fink's Secret Surprise and Pharaoh's Forbidden Ruin. Or, wait, did I mean Secret of the Sphinx and Temple of Anubis? See, up through the late 90s, nearly every single LEGO set had a different name between the North American and European markets. Despite both countries speaking English, the US and the UK were separated by a common language. This isn't exclusive to adventurers by any means. You can see this in town, space, pirates, castle, Aquazone, and Technic, to name a few. In some cases, the theme itself had a different name. Why was this the case, and why is it no longer the case? I can't say for certain, but I believe that it's related to a little thing called the World Wide Web that became more accessible in common households by the turn of the millennium. Before then, it was unlikely that LEGO fans would ever argue about whether Captain Redbeard sailed the Black Sea's Barracuda, or if Captain Roger sailed the Dark Shark. They would never even know that anything was changed in different markets. But after that, suddenly, the Atlantic Ocean no longer separated LEGO fans across the pond. Websites like Piron, Vognet, and even the official LEGO.com made it possible for fans to connect with others all around the globe. While it was never necessary for various markets to name sets and characters differently, now it was no longer feasible. And so, beginning with themes like Rock Raiders in 1999, a unified international naming scheme was introduced. In any English language market, the sets, characters, and themes would generally be consistent. Even so, Adventurers is a special case. It launched in 1998, 
when market-specific names were the standard. But it continued through to 2003, years after consistent international names became the new standard. Therefore, it made a transition from everything having a different name to everything having the same name. Which means that pre-established names in various markets had to change in order to not change anymore. Are you confused yet? Ha! <laughs> We've only just begun. But we'll get back to that later in this video. For now, we're still in 1998. So, without any further ado, let us begin by going back in time one year to 1997, when we have the first known document that names any characters from LEGO Adventurers. Did you know that there were plans for an adventurers that seemed a spin-off of Lego Island under the working title Dig? Sadly, while it could have been an instant classic like its predecessor, it never came to fruition. But here we have the design document from Wes Jenkins. It names a bunch of characters, including some returning faces from Lego Island and some original characters who'd never see the light of day. But seven particular characters correspond directly to the seven characters of the Lego Adventures Egyptian cast. None of these names match any published media, but we can infer who is who based on their descriptions. Johnny Thunder is Douglas Digger McBuilder, the hero who is somewhat of a cowboy. Pippin Reed is Lucy Brick, the heroine. Doctor Kilroy. Is Professor Fitz Bricksworthy, the archaeologist. If the front cover of the design document is anything to go by, he may have looked like his physical minifig with the infomaniac's head. Harry Kane is Kit Attaway, the daring ace pilot. Baron von Baron is Colonel or Baron von Brickoff of Bildovia. Slyboots is Doctor B. Pilton. By virtue of process of elimination, since he's the only other villain described here, the B stands for bad toy. By the way, Pharaoh Hotep is King Rom Dot Kong, the ancient Egyptian pharaoh. There's a couple interesting little nuggets of information here that Lego lore enthusiasts may pick up on. For example, does Kit Attaway's surname sound familiar? He's from the same family tree as Cam Attaway from Alpha Team. Von Brickoff hails from Bildovia, a name that Lego Island fans may recognize, since Mama Bricolini is rumored to have come from the royal house of Bildovia. Could she have known Von Brickoff in her past? But what's especially funny? Not the ha ha kind of funny, but the G that's interesting kind of funny. Is Colonel or Baron Von Brickoff's profile? Right away, his inconsistent title reflects an inconsistent name. His backstory, nationality, and name changes seemingly on a whim. If this had come after 2000, it would have been a clever meta joke on the Sam Sinister Switcheroo. But this was in 1997, a year before the toy line even saw release. Is that so? Wes Jenkins could see the character's future. How eerily prophetic. However, with this being an internal document for an unreleased game. With names that are largely brick or computer puns, don't take this as anything canonical. It's simply an interesting aside before we get into the real meat and potatoes of this video. Now, we're going into published public marketing materials. The Lego Group is based in Denmark, so that's where we will begin our adventure. Perhaps this is as close as we can get to official confirmation on what these characters were originally intended to be named from the very beginning. As you can see in the Danish catalog, the characters are Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, Professor Kilroy, Harry Kane, Mister Hates, Slyboots, Pharaoh Hotep. You may notice that most of these names. Are what I previously selected as the most consistent, recognizable names for this video. There's a good reason for that. I'll collectively refer to this group of names as the DK names. <laughs> this will be important in a few moments, so remember that. Before we continue with other European countries, let us hop on Harry Kane Airways and fly to the United States of America. If you were subscribed to Lego Mania magazine. 
for the shop at home catalogs, then these would be the names of the characters. Johnny Thunder, Gail Storm, Dr. Charles Lightning, Harry Kane. You may notice that all four heroes are named after bad weather. Thunder, gale storm, lightning, hurricane. A trend that would be repeated in the adventurer's 2011 spiritual successor, Pharaoh's Quest. Baron von Baron, or sometimes Baron von Baron, for that extra bit of redundancy. Sam Sinister, Pharaoh's Mummy, nope. Hotep doesn't even get a proper name in the U.S. You may notice that Johnny Sunder and Harry Kane are the only two characters who share the same name between the U.S. and Denmark. This is mostly consistent across all media released in the U.S. during 1998 and 1999. Although, there are of course a few exceptions we'll get to in a bit. In addition to the magazines and catalogs, these are the names used in the Treasure Quest game. Oh, uh, but what's this? In the Lego Mania advert for Treasure Quest, Slime Boots isn't called Sam Sinister. He's called Simon B. Sinister. What does the B stand for? Bad toy? Boots? Whatever it is, it's the one and only time he's called this. The game itself calls him Sam Sinister, just like all the other Lego Mania articles. So this one advert is definitely an odd outlier. Next, let's jump over to the UK. If you were subscribed to LEGO Bricks and Pieces magazine, or checked the semi-annual catalogs, then these would be the names of the characters. Sam Grant, possibly a reference to Alan Grant due to their similar clothing. Foreshadowing! Pippin Reed. Uh, hang on. Is it Pippin Reed? Or Pippin Reed? Or Pippin Reed? It depends on where you look. The catalog says Reed, R-E-E-D, and Bricks and Pieces says Reed, R-E-I-D. But across most LEGO media at the time, Reed, R-E-A-D, would be the most common spelling, matching her DK name. It makes sense. She is a magazine reporter. Wouldn't you want to read something by read? <coughs> the Professor. Huh, doesn't look like Dr. Kilroy has any name here. Except he does. Dr. Charles Lightning. But this seems to be a holdover of the Lego Mania comic, which otherwise changed the names of characters like Johnny Thunder to Sam Grant. Harry Kane. Or Harry Kane. The spelling may vary but he is the only character to retain his name on both sides of the pond. Evil Eye, Lizard Boots. While you've probably heard of Sam Grant and Pippin Reed, the villains' names are probably the most obscure of this group. Though it's interesting that Lizard and Sly both have boots, apparently. Pharaoh Hotep. While Dr. Kilroy loses a name, the mummy at least retains his DK name. In addition to the UK magazines and catalogs, these names were apparently used in a cartoon aired in the UK, based on this advert in Bricks and Pieces. As far as I know, this cartoon is lost media. But maybe someone has an old VHS tape that will surface someday. As I said before, the sets have completely different names as well. In some cases, this reflects the differing names of the characters. For example, 5900 Johnny Sunder is called 5900 Sam Grant, which makes sense. In Portuguese, Johnny Travo. In Spanish, Johnny Trueno. Meanwhile, since Baron Von Baron is called Evil Eye and isn't a Baron, it only makes sense that 5928 Bi-Wing Baron is called 5928 Harry Kane's Biplane. Wait, what? That's not Harry Kane or his Biplane! Oh. They must have fixed it later on, because here it's called 5928 Evo Eyes Biplane. That's better. And I'm sure it'll be consistent from now on. Hey, why is this 1999 Bricks and Pieces magazine calling Harry Kane's 5925 Pontoon Plane Evo Eyes Biplane now? I thought this mystery was supposed to be the Sam Sinister switcheroo, not the Harry Kane switcheroo! 
I said before that there were certain exceptions in the US for the naming scheme, and the same holds true in the UK. Although both countries were self-contained with their magazines and catalogs, there was one specific form of adventurer's media in 1998 that was available internationally. Books. Specifically, books published by Dorling Kindersley, a publisher abbreviated as DK. Despite being based in the UK, DK did not always adhere to the names used in UK catalogs, as is the case here with 1998's puzzle book, The Curse of the Mummy. Here, the characters are named Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Harry Kane, Mr. Hates, Slyboots, Pharaoh Hotep. Hey, wait a second. These names match the names in Denmark. So the DK names are also... the DK names. We'll continue to see this set of names a lot across plenty of media in the years to follow. Perhaps that's why most of the DK names are the most recognizable. This book was also released in other languages. However, the only available scans are in English, so I'm currently unable to document what these translations say. Whoops! One last tangent before we leave the UK. You might remember LEGO Chess, which featured themed chess sets and story campaigns based upon Pirates and Wild West. Did you know that Adventurers was planned as a third set in the game? LEGO Chess uses a number of names based in the UK, such as Silver City and Captain Roger, instead of Gold City Junction and Captain Redbeard. So, unsurprisingly, the script for the Adventurers story largely uses names from the UK publications, although it's a blend of the Bricks and Pieces names and the DK names. Sam Grant, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Slyboots, Mummy. Keep in mind that, had this made it into the final release, we don't know how many of these names would have been used in-game. Judging from Pirates and Wild West, we can assume that Sam Grant's name would have been replaced with the player's name. But it is curious that this is the only known instance where the Sam Grant name is used alongside the DK names. Now, our adventurer takes us to Germany. You'll notice that the heroic adventurers have an entirely different set of names, while the villains share their names with the DK names. We see this consistently in catalogs, World Club Magazine, and perhaps most notably the full-length audio drama Die Jagd nach dem Pharaonenschatz. The names are Joe Freeman or Joe Freeman. The spelling varies based on the source. This catalog even uses both versions. Linda Lovely Professor Articus Billy Speed Mr. Hates Sly Boots Pharaoh Ramsey's Mummy Although, is it Ramses III or Ramses IV? Once again, it depends on where you look. This same issue of World Club Magazine is also available in China. And yeah, I can't read it. Even if I knew Chinese, the resolution of this scan is too low to make out the more complex characters, and simply plugging names like Johnny Sunder and Mr. Hates into Google Translate isn't yielding any matches. Next. We'll take a stop in Sweden, and unfortunately, here's where my source becomes, dude, trust me bro. See, back in March 2018, I found an online scan of what was most likely a Swedish print ad or catalog from 1998, advertising the adventurous theme with little blurbs for each of the main characters, who have an entirely unique set of names here. I saved a transcript of the ad in order to translate it, but... I didn't save the ad itself. And now I can't find it! What you're seeing here is a mock-up. Hopefully, it will surface again someday. But in the meantime, here are the names on the ad. Yelten, Rita Reporter, Professor Paulest, Lars Looping, General Gonning, Knockout Berra, Pharaoh Hotep. 
One interesting little aside about Lars Lupi is that this ad portrays him with the face of Basil the Bat Lord, lists him alongside the villains, and describes him as doing anything for money. This is the only instance, Harry Kane switcheroo aside, where the character isn't portrayed as one of the heroes. Our Egyptian adventure concludes in Japan, our final destination for 1998. While we don't have a full Japanese catalog or magazine, we do have four exclusive promotional sets packaged with the Kabaya Suites, each one name-dropping the minifigure included. From this, we can see that these characters are named Jones, Harry Kane, Slyboots, King Pharaoh III. Jones is a bit on the nose, don't you think? Note that his name is the only one of the four that's presented in both English and Japanese, although the English writing wouldn't come for another couple years. Harry Kane and Slyboots both match their DK names, while King Pharaoh III is, uh, both a name and not a name? So, in summary, in Adventurer's first year of 1998, every character had different names in different regions, but the original DK names are perhaps the most consistent and are reflected across multiple markets, especially Johnny Sunder, Harry Kane, and Slyboots. As for the Sam Sinister switcheroo, the only character named Sam Sinister is Slyboots, but only in the US. He is more consistently known as Slyboots in Denmark, the UK, Germany, and Japan. I'm bored. I found the gold! It's this way! You're off again with Johnny Thunder on a new Lego adventure to ancient Amazon ruins. The adventurers are back for an amazing adventure. Or should I say, an Amazon adventure? <laughs> Our heroes Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, and Harry Kane return, though Baron Von Baron and Slyboots are absent to make way for two new members of the rogues gallery, Senor Palomar and Rudo Viano, as well as Gabarro, who is the only character who canonically switches sides. And since we're not in Egypt anymore, Varohotep's role is now filled by a new character, Achu. Bless you. In magazines, catalogs, and books, the returning characters are consistent with what we've seen before. So, there will be some redundancy with what's already been covered in this video, but I'm making sure all of our bases are covered. Since we don't have any available Danish sources to cite for this year, we're starting our adventure in the US. In LEGO Mania magazine and shop at home catalogs, our characters are named Johnny Sunder, Gale Storm, Dr. Charles Lightning, Harry Kane, or Harry Kane, Senor Palomar, Rudo Viano, Gabarro, Achu. Gabarro is an interesting case, what? since he isn't named in any US magazines or catalogs, but his name is printed on the Jungle Adventurers t-shirt advertised in Mania magazine. And yes, it's Gabarro, not Gabarros. I'll get back to that later. Let's take a trip to Legoland, California, which has the Adventurers Club. Here we have a newsreel by Smile Brightly, where, unsurprisingly, the adventurers use their US names. Shepard Explorer Johnny Thunder and Geo Storm have mysteriously disappeared. While we're in North America, shop at home catalogs were also distributed in Canada and are available in French. From here, we can see that most of the cast retains their US names, although Johnny Thunder and Dr. Lightning, though oddly not Gale Storm, have their surnames translated directly into French. Johnny Tuner, Gale Storm, Dr. Eclair, Senor Palomar, Rudo Viano, Harry Kane. Next, we're hopping back across the pond to the UK to see what's going on in Bricks and Pieces magazine and 1999 catalogs. Sam Grant, Senor Gomez, Max Viano, Achu. As far as I can tell, this is the one and only instance where Senor Palomar and Rudo Viano have different names. But, just like in 1998, the UK-based Dorling Kindersley has published a book that is available in both the US and the UK, titled The Lost Temple. Here, the characters are named Johnny Sunder, 
Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Harry Kane, Senor Palomar, Viano, Gabarro, Achu. As with The Curse of the Mummy, this book is released in multiple languages, including German. Once again, since the only available scans are in English, I can't verify what the characters are named in these other languages. However, the Amazon product's description for Der Vergessene Temple does use the name Joe Freeman. DK also released the Ultimate Lego Book in 1999, which uses Dr. Kilroy for the only named adventurer's character. Unless you want to count that tiny little blurb from The Curse of the Mummy, which obviously has the rest of the DK crew. As it turns out, Dorling Kindersley isn't the only UK-based publication to use the DK set of names. In addition to bricks and pieces, the UK received another LEGO magazine titled LEGO Adventures, produced by Art World UK. Each issue has two comics and a number of activities and features for recent LEGO products, and both Egypt and Amazon are covered in different issues of this magazine's 1999 run. Just like in the two DK puzzle books, the LEGO Adventures magazine names the Adventures cast Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Harry Kane, Mr. Hates, Cybers, Pharaoh Hotep, Senor Palomar, Rudolf Viano, Achu. The Adventures magazine also saw release in Russia as Semadielki magazine. As far as I can tell from issues available online, Everyone's names are translated directly into Russian from English. For example, Johnny Sunder is Johnny Grom. By this time, Lego.com also had dedicated pages for the adventurous desert and jungle themes. The jungle page even had a section dedicated to the individual characters, though most of it is no longer functional. With one exception. We can still see the page URLs and deduce that they most likely would have followed the DK names, likely due to LEGO.com being available internationally. Johnny, Pippin, Kilroy, Harry, Mr. Hates, Senor Palomar, Rudo, Achu. I do want to pause and draw attention back to Senor Palomar's profile, which is the only one that was successfully archived. This directly reveals that Mr. Hates is the anonymous art collector mentioned in the Lost Temple whom Palomar is working for. Therefore, even when he's absent from the sets, Baron von Baron still holds the title of being the scene's recurring arch-nemesis. Remember that. But do you know what else came out in 1999 that was released worldwide? LEGO Racers! Finally. After two false starts, the LEGO Adventurers make their video game debut. This game has multiple language settings, but only one set of names per language, so you won't have Johnny Sunder in American English versus Sam Grant in British English, for example. Starting with the English version, we have Johnny Sunder, Gale Storm, Baron Von Baron, Sam Sinister, Pharaoh's Mummy, Achu. Dr. Kilroy also appears as a cameo, but is unnamed. Most language settings retain the English names or literal translations thereof, and I won't cover these cases. Oddly, this includes German, so there isn't any Joe Freeman in Lego Racers. Instead, we'll start with the Danish version. Johnny Sunder, Gale Storm, Mr. Hates, but he's still called Baron von Baron in his intro cutscene. Slimeouts, Pharaoh Hotep's Mummy, Achu. As I'm sure you'd expect, most of these Danish names match the DK names. But while Baron von Baron is probably just a translation error slipping through the cracks, it's rather odd that Gale Storm is an exception and she isn't called Pippin Reed. Next up is the Dutch version Johnny Sunder, Gale Storm, Baron von Baron, or Baron von Baron. Suwa Sam, the Mummy van der Faro, Tempo Konink. A couple of interesting scenes here. One is Suwa Sam, which can be translated as Sly Sam. That's essentially a mashup of Sly Boots and Sam Sinister. The other is Achu being called the Temple King rather than being referred to by name. 
Next, let's look at the Spanish version. Johnny Explorador, Tormentosa, Baron von Tyson, Sam el Siniestro, La Momia, El Jefe de la Jungla. This is the only language in Lego Racers where Johnny Thunder and Gale Storm's names are changed. Strangely, not Johnny Trueno, and it won't be the last time we see Johnny Explorador. Tormentosa is a bit strange, though, and it almost feels like the translator didn't realize that Gale Storm was supposed to be a punny name and not a literal Gale Storm. Baron von Baron and Cyboots both receive new variations on their names. Achu, yet again, is unnamed. Finally, the last noteworthy language we'll cover is Norwegian. Johnny Sunder, Gale Storm, Barun and Barun, Uhigelige Sam, Faruz Mumia, Stamhovding Achu. Lastly, if we look at the internal names of the minifigure parts, they are identified as JT, GS, BB, FB, PM, TC. Most of these are initials of the English names Johnny Thunder, Gale Storm, Von Baron, and Pharaoh's Mummy. The two outliers are FB and TC. FB is presumably Sly Boots, so it's noteworthy that they prioritized the DK name over Sam Sinister in this one case. As for TC, I'm guessing it's supposed to be Tribal Chief, like in the Norwegian version. So, in summary, 1999 continues the previous year's trends in the DK, US, and UK naming schemes. With the US names available internationally thanks to LEGO Racers, and the DK names continuing to cross borders with books at LEGO Adventures magazine and LEGO.com. Of the four new characters introduced, Achu keeps his name in most regions, Cabarro is only named in two sources, and Senor Palomar and Rudo Viano share their names between the US and DK schemes. The name Sam Sinister, or variants thereof, still belongs to Slyboots, now including most languages of LEGO racers, while the Baron's favorite titles are still Baron von Baron and Mr. Hates. But hold on to your slouch hats, because the Sam Sinister switcheroo is about to unfold. Hey Rex, how can you tell what good humans do the bad ones? The good ones taste better! <laughs> You're set for adventure. The adventurers return, and now Johnny Sunder channels his inner Alan Grant as we head to the lost world of Dino Island. Did you know that this was planned as early as 1996? two years before Adventurers launched? Orient Expedition, too. This time, the cast rotates a bit. On the hero side, the central trio of Johnny Sunder, Pippin Reed, and Dr. Kilroy continue to go on Adventurers, but Harry Kane is retired in favor of a fresh new face, Mike. Meanwhile, on the villain side, Baron Von Baron apparently got tired of Senor Palomar's failures and decided to take matters back into his own hands. Uh, hand and hook, now accompanied by his devious sister Alexia Sinister and his brutish henchman, Mr. Cunningham. As before, we'll start things off with the names used in LEGO Mania magazine and the US Shop at Home catalogs. Johnny Thunder, Gail Storm, Dr. Charles Lightning, Mike, Alexia Sinister, Mr. Cunningham. Wait a second, I skipped someone, didn't I? Oh, yes, of course, it's Sam Sinister, a.k.a. Baron Von Baron. With just six words, the entire world of LEGO Adventurers was irreversibly shaken. Baron Von Baron, still referred to as such as an alternative name, is now named Sam Sinister, a name which, up until this point, had only ever belonged to Slyboots in the US and in LEGO Racers. Did LEGO forget they were separate characters? Well, Slyboots would never appear again in the toy line, although he would continue to appear alongside Baron von Baron in various LEGO media, so it wasn't as though he suddenly never existed. This is not a simple error in one issue of a magazine, like the Harry Kane switcheroo. 
We consistently see the name Sam Sinister applied to this character throughout this year. Comics, product descriptions, even the set 5914 Sam Sinister and Baby T has his name in the title. But just like the magazine says, even though he now goes by Sam Sinister, the old name Baron Von Baron isn't forgotten yet. Some versions of the product description still use the name Baron Von Baron. This is especially noticeable in the Summer 2000 Shop at Home catalog, while the later catalogs updated to Sam Sinister. So what happened? Why is Baron Von Baron now called Sam Sinister? No one knows for sure, but I have heard one interesting hypothesis proposed by Emily, which I'll expand upon here. Here are a few other villainous Lego Barons over the years. Baron Flambeau, Baron Typhonus, the Iron Baron. Notice that they all have a certain something in common. Then there's the name Sam Sinister, a villainous name that would make Dick Dastardly and Snidely Whiplash proud. But there's something else about the word Sinister. Its Latin roots are associated with left, such as left-handedness. After all, if you're left, then you aren't right. One villain wears a top hat. One villain has a hook for a left hand. Now, which one should be named Baron Von Baron, and which one should be named Sam Sinister? Is it possible that the Sam Sinister switcheroo happened in 1998? That Sly Boots should have been Baron Von Baron, and Von Baron should have been Sam Sinister all along? And Von Baron's name change in 2000 was an attempt at correcting it? But hey, it's just a theory! A lame theory! No, it's just an untested hypothesis in desperate need of peer review and evidence. Of course, without confirmation from LEGO, we have no way of knowing. But we do have this internal document from LEGO Media, summarizing the Dino Island storyline and captors with additional lore and details that never appeared in published materials. Essentially, it's a story bible. It's not necessarily canonical, but there are some details that line up with the LEGO Mania magazine bios and LEGO Adventures magazine comics. Here, the characters are named Johnny Sunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Mike, Alexia Sanister, Mr. Cunningham. As for Baron Von Baron, he is Sam Sanister, or Mr. Hates, or Sam Sanister Hates. No explanation is given for why Mr. Hates' name is changed. It's also curious that it keeps flipping back and forth between Mr. Hates and Sam Sanister, even concluding with a combination of the two names. It suggests that the name change may have happened later in development, and not every instance of Mr. Hates in this document was updated to Sam Sanister accordingly. You may notice that I keep saying Sanister here, not Sinister. And that's another weird thing. As I'll show in a second, most international media uses Sanister as the surname of Baron von Baron and Alexia. To be honest, I was never a fan of Sanister. It looks like a typo, even though it's consistent enough that it must have been intentional, but you don't know why they would have spelled it that way. Or maybe it feels like Sam Sinister trying to come up with an alias on the spot and just being really bad at it. Ha ha ha! The world will know that I, Sam Sinister, hold the Regal Ruby! Ha 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 ha! Where is Sam Sinister? Ooh! I'm not Sam Sinister. I'm, uh, Sam Sanister. Liar! As a side note, there is no mention of Sly Boots, but Mr. Cunningham is described as a former boxer in this document, just like Sly Boots, and the two villains have the synonyms Cunning and Sly in their names. Could Mr. Cunningham have been intended as a direct replacement for Sly Boots? Anyways, let's get out of hypotheses and speculation and get back into published media. Let's head back over to the UK catalogs and see if Sam Grant is doing the Alan Grant thing too. Johnny Thunder, Professor Kilroy, Mike, Sam Sanister, Alexis Sanister, Mr. Cunningham. Huh, how about that? Just when you'd think that Grant would be the most appropriate name, UK finally adopts the same name as US and DK. 
As I said before, Sanister is a more common international name we'll see going forward. Remember how I mentioned 5914 Sam Sinister and Baby T? Its international box art has Sam Sanister and Baby T printed on it. Interestingly, Sam's sister is named Alexis and not Alexia. We'll be seeing a few variations on this. Speaking of DK, unlike 1998 or 1999, there will be no more puzzle books going forward. But Art World UK continues to release Adventures magazine in the UK and in Russia. However, we don't currently have any scans of the English version, so let's look at the Russian translation and see what we find in the Dino Iwan comics. Johnny Grom, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, or Professor Kilroy, Mike, Zlidy Sam, Alexia Sanister, Mr. Cunningham. So that's interesting. Baron von Baron has a unique name here, one that keeps Sam as a given name, but does not match Alexia's surname. Otherwise, it matches the Dino Island internal document, including the fact that Alexia is called Pippin Reed. Whoa, whoa, what? Yeah. For some reason, the 11-2000 and 2-2001 issues use Alexia Sinister's minifig to represent Pippin Reed. Given her role in the comics, it's unlikely a Russian translation issue and is presumably present in the English version as well. It's a very strange mix-up, considering that Pippin is present in two Dino Island sets, and they do correct this error by the 4 2001 issue. Either way, it seems that the sinister switcheroo is not limited to the boys in the family. Worth noting is that in Lego Mania magazine, Alexia disguises herself as Pippin at one point, and for some reason, some Orient Expedition promotional CGI art also uses Alexia's face for Pippin. Better watch out, Johnny. This femme fatale is trying to seduce you with her dirty tricks! If we open up the latest issues of LEGO World Club magazine, we'll see Tim Timebuster returning to the adventurer scene. Surely Tim will recognize Professor Articus, right? WRONG! For some inexplicable reason, Dr. Kilroy's name has been changed to... Professor Titus. This is true in both the English and German versions. Perhaps it's meant to separate Articus and Titus into two separate characters based upon Kilroy? This may be the case, since they have different designs and Titus makes no reference to Articus's search for armor on. As we peruse other European catalogs, we'll find that most of the named cast shares their names across multiple countries, including Germany, Italy, and Poland. This is especially true for the villains, such as Alexis Sanister and Mr. Cunningham. Regardless of whatever he was called before, Baron von Baron is usually called Sam Sanister instead of Evil Eye, Mr. Hates, etc. But supposedly, there is one notable exception in Europe. Unfortunately, I don't have a primary source to cite here, so please take this with a grain of salt. According to a user on Lugnet, the Netherlands broke the trend by giving Baron von Baron and Alexia Sinister different names. Alex Gluipstra, Alexis Gluipstra. While Mr. Cunningham goes unmentioned in this post, there was a popular fan website on GeoCities for LEGO Adventurers that compiles many characters' alternative names, much like I'm doing now in this video. This fan site was notable enough that Silicon Dreams was even referencing it during their development of LEGO Island 2 and LEGO Island 3. Unfortunately, no primary sources are cited here which is why I've held off on mentioning this GeoCities page until now. But Mr. Cunningham, like Baron von Baron and Alexia, is listed as having a name that is apparently Dutch in origin, Slua Jacques. Remember how I suggested earlier that Mr. Cunningham may have been a direct replacement for Cyboots? This may be further evidence of that, if the respective Dutch names are Slua Sam and Slua Jacques. As for Johnny Sunder, even though he's finally ditched the Sam Grant identity, his name still changes in several countries and languages. In German, Joe Freeman. In French, Johnny Tuner. In Spanish, Johnny Thunder. In Portuguese, Johnny Trovo. In Hungarian, Pilam Tomas. Speaking of French, here's the French version of the Dino Island commercial. It's hard to tell whether the narrator says Johnny Sunder or Johnny Tanner. I'll let you be the judge. 
fait équipe avec John Sander sur l'île des dinosaures Lego. But either way, he clearly says Sam Sinister and not Sam Sanister. Just like in the English version. Sam Sinister veut tous les capturer. As we exit Europe and go to Japan, if we look at the Kabaya sets, World Club magazine, and a sticker sheet, we'll see some returning names for old characters and consistent names for the new characters. Jones, Dr. Kilroy, Mike, Mr. Hates, Alexia, Cunningham. Lastly, the Legoland video game features a cameo from Johnny Sunder. He is name dropped during the description for the adventurer's plane ride, and unsurprisingly, that name is Johnny Thunder. In German, Joe Freeman. So, to summarize 2000, overall, as LEGO shifts towards ditching the region-specific names, the adventurers gradually become more consistent. Barring unconformed reports of Dutch names, the new characters Mike, Mr. Cunningham, and Alexia Sinister have very consistent names across the world although Alexia's name has a few variations. The U.S. stubbornly sticks with the old weather pattern names for the heroes, and Johnny Sunder has a few names in different languages, but the DK names are becoming the standard, as names like Sam Grant and Professor Articus are retired. But most infamously, this is when the Sam Sinister switcheroo takes place, as Baron Von Baron is now known sometimes by his old identities, and sometimes by Slyboot's former name, while Slyboot's himself is nowhere to be seen. Oh, there should be a law against what I'm about to do. Oh, wait, there is. Oh, well, who cares? <laughs> After three years straight of LEGO Adventurer success, the theme takes a break from store shelves for the next couple years. However, the adventure continues through LEGO Media, as seen on LEGO.com and LEGO Software. During this time, LEGO continues what 2000 started by establishing one particular set of names to be used consistently and internationally. For example, we can see on the online LEGO shop that set 5913 Dr. Lightning's car is later renamed 5913 Dr. Kilroy's car quietly retconning away the last traces of the U.S. market's names. First up is LEGO Studios. Technically, the Steven Spielberg movie maker set released in late 2000, but the rest of the theme made its full release in 2001, so I'm grouping it all here together for simplicity. Johnny Sunder makes his big screen debut here, starring in Jewel Quest, Dino Cop, Jurassic Park 3, and a whole slew of other pictures with his name attached. And that name is Johnny Thunder, as seen in the Movie Maker set, Johnny Thunder Seems to be Flying, Backlot, and Temple of Gloom. Pippin Reed and Mike also get supporting roles, but don't get their names listed in the credits. Next, we're heading back to Lego Island for the released sequel that did star the adventurers. Lego Island 2, The Brickster's Revenge, features much of the cast from Adventurers on the aptly named Adventurers Island. Or is it Adventurers Island? Or Adventurers Island? Or Adventure Island? Yeesh, not even a seems island can keep its name straight. Anyways, some characters appear only in the handheld versions, and some are only named by internal files or documents. But if we look across all four versions of the game, we have... Johnny Sunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Mr. Hates, Slyboots, Hotep, Senor Palomar, Rudo Viano, Tabarro, Achu, Mike, Alexia Sanister, Mr. Cunningham. So, as you can see, everyone follows the DK names were applicable and the Lego Media names for the Dino Island characters. However, I do want to address something about Achu really quickly. In the scripts for the PC version and the text dump for the GBA version, he is named Chief Legog, although some documents consider Achu and Legog to be separate characters, and Legog is represented with King Kahuka's concept art from LEGO Racers. Hmm, that would explain the Indigo Islander in Achu's village. 
But we're not done with LEGO Island 2 just yet. Like LEGO Racers, there's a bunch of different languages available for the game. Danish, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, German, Norwegian, and Portuguese. For the most part, the characters' names are unchanged from the DK names, but there are two notable exceptions. The first is Johnny Sunder, whose foreign names are, in Spanish, Johnny Explorador, in German, Joe Freeman. The second exception, interestingly enough, is Mr. Hates. In the English version, and only the English version, he retains the DK name. But in almost every other language, he's been updated to his new contemporary name, Sam Sinster. Don't believe me? Here's the Danish, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, Norwegian, and Portuguese versions as evidence. But what about German, the only other language of LEGO Island 2 where Mr. Hates was definitively his original name? Strangely enough, in German he is named Sam Finster. This is the only language where the word Sinister is translated literally, despite the character being Mr. Hates originally and Sam Sanister in Germany. And as far as I can tell, this is the only instance where this happens in German. After Mr. Hates is defeated, the Infomaniac speculates that he'll change his name. Perhaps this is the canonical in-universe explanation for the Sam Sinister switcheroo. There were also a couple online LEGO Island games. Achu appears in The Crystal Brick, and Miss Pippin Reed appears in Pepper's Skateboard Challenge. Unsurprisingly, they both have their DK names. Before we leave LEGO Island, I want to quickly mention this. The third game in the trilogy, Island Extreme Stunts, went through a number of different iterations and design docs that would have heavily featured the adventurer's cast. With one concept following the Silk Road a couple years before Orient Expedition, unsurprisingly, all characters here use the same set of names in the English version of LEGO Island 2, so I won't spend much more time covering it. But isn't it a shame that we were denied not just one, but two LEGO Island sequels based on adventurers? LEGO Island 2 wasn't the only video game sequel with the adventurers in 2001. Most of the participating cast from LEGO Racers returns for LEGO Racers 2, plus the new characters from Dino Island. Similar to LEGO Island 2, we'll be factoring in both the console and handheld versions, since Pippin Reed's surname and Mr. Cunningham are only named in the GBA version. Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, Sam Sanister, Slyboots, Achu, Mike, Alexia Sanister, Mr. Cunningham. As you can see, Pippin Reed and Slyboots now have their DK names, while Sam Sanister and Alexia Sanister use their LEGO Media Dino Island dock names. Everyone else is consistent with what we've seen elsewhere. LEGO Racers 2 is also available in multiple languages. Judging from available footage, however, the characters retain their names in every language. For example, in German, Johnny Sunder and Sam Sanister are not changed to Joe Freeman and Sam Finster. The last video game we'll discuss here is Soccer Mania, released in 2002. This game is... weird when it comes to characters and names. There are many recognizable faces here, but many characters are wearing different outfits from their physical minifigures and have totally different names compared to any previous media. For example, Flatfoot Thompson, or Prairie Pete, from Lego Wild West, swapped his red clothes for black and now goes by the name Bill Bullet. So, unsurprisingly, when it comes to a theme already as notorious as adventurers, things were destined to get confusing. Among the playable cast, we have Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Billy Speed, Sam Sinister, Eddie Elbow, Rudo Viano, Harry Kane. Johnny Thunder and Dr. Kilroy are just about the only straightforward characters here. Pippin Reed goes back to her R-E-E-D spelling from the 1998 UK catalogue, instead of the more common R-E-A-D spelling from DK. Rudo Viano unbuttoned his shirt and changed his hat, 
but otherwise he's at least recognizable. But poor Harry Kane just can't catch a break. After being absent for the past couple years, he finally returns with his German name for some reason. Even though nobody else uses their German names here. But the character who appears to be Mike is called Harry Kane instead. As I said before, this Harry Kane switcheroo is almost as confusing as the Sam Sinister switcheroo, even if it is nowhere near as infamous. Speaking of which, this is the final direct appearance of Slyboots in any new media, and he's stolen the Sam Sinister name back from Baron von Baron, whose only appearance in Soccer Mania is as an unnamed cameo. Please note that this is the only time between 2000 and 2008 where Slyboots uses the Sam Sinister name, which otherwise belongs entirely to Baron von Baron during this period. Now, let's get back to Lego.com. During this two-year period, Johnny Thunder and the Adventurers received a revamped mini-site. Without any new Adventurers sets to promote, this site continued to maintain interest in the theme with a wide selection of online Flash games, most of which have been lost to time. But two survive to this day, The Restless Mummy and The Lost Treasure of Ancient Greece. We also have the Minifig Handbook, which appears to be by the same developers since it uses the same art style and appears to directly reference most of the missing minigames. Across this Flash media, the characters are consistently named Johnny Sunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Sam Sinister. Hmm, now that's interesting. Again, Pippin uses the R-E-E-D spelling in both the low band game and the minifig handbook. Between this and Soccer Mania, we're seeing a shift away from R-E-A-D as the most common spelling of her original DK name. And while Baron von Baron looks like his usual self in the minifig handbook, he changes his outfit in the lost treasure of ancient Greece. The red hook is a little odd, but the black top hat is definitely familiar. Maybe this was laundry day and he had to borrow clothes from Ogo and Slyboots? Or maybe he got frustrated with Slyboots taking the sinister name back in Soccer Mania and he decides to steal it again, this time along with Slyboots hat for good measure. Either way, this won't be the last time we see the Baron in the top hat. In addition to the minifig handbook, Lego.com had another Who's Who page for the Adventurers cast. Unfortunately, this is another bit of lost media that was never archived. But we do have the page URLs, which refer to the characters as Johnny Sunder, Miss Pippin, Doc Kilroy, Lord Sam. Lord Sam? But this is only 2002. Orient Expedition hasn't come out yet. Could this be the first time the Baron became a lord? Dr. Kilroy also appears on the LEGO Dinosaurs website, hosting the FAQ and the Great Dino Quest. As I'm sure you can figure out by this point, he uses his DK name here as well. Our last stop is LEGOville Station, where we'll board the LEGO Express. Oh no, but what's this? Senor Palomar and his gang are hijacking the train! Welcome to Tales on the Lego Express, the heist! No fully archived version of this game exists today, but the full script is still available, from which two characters are named. Johnny Thunder, Senor Palomar. But there were two more characters from adventurers in this game, acting as Palomar's unnamed henchmen. One is Rudo Viano, as clearly shown in this footage. The other is Alexia Sinister, but there's no surviving footage of her. Unfortunately, this is another case where the source is, Dude, trust me bro. I played the heist back in 2002, and I clearly remember Alexia being the henchwoman who catches you if you try to sneak past Viano. But since she's not identified by name, we don't know if she would have been Alexia Sinister, Alexia Sanister, or some other variant of the two. In summary, 2001 to 2002 saw the standardization of the DK names across video games and online media, replacing market-specific names like Dr. Lightning and Gale Storm. Barring the one odd exception in Soccer Mania, 
the name Sam Sinister very firmly belongs to Baron Von Baron now. And that's just in time for one grand finale for the adventurer. After two years, Johnny Thunder makes his big return in Orient Expedition, the final series of adventurer sets. This year sees Johnny and his friends trekking across Asia following the trail of Marco Polo with the goal of finding his enormous golden dragon and bringing it home just as Polo intended. Along the way, they're pursued by one familiar villain and both sides meet new friends and foes in each country. For anyone trying to keep track of who is named what in which country or publication, you can finally breathe easily. For the first time, all names are consistent in all publications across the world. I mean it. Whether you're looking at LEGO Magazine, LEGO.com, Shop at Home Catalogs, UK Catalogs, German Catalogs, German Audio Dramas, Polish catalogs, Dutch catalogs, board games, Applebee's, and more, it's all the same. It only took them five years, but now the adventurers are finally consistent. So, now that the names are finally settled, let's see who's who. Johnny Sunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Lord Sam Sinister, Bablu, Maharaja Lalu, Sherpa Sangay Dorje, Nyan Pa, Jing Li, Emperor Chang Wu. Unsurprisingly, the heroes settled upon their DK names. However, after gradually transitioning from R-E-A-D to R-E-E-D between 2001 and 2002, Pippin has firmly decided that Reed is spelled R-E-E-D, and that is a spelling we'll see from now on. All of the new characters, by virtue of being introduced in the sub theme, have never had any name changes. Bablu is always Bablu, Chang Wu is always Chang Wu, etc. Although Sangay Dorje's name is misspelled as Sanjay Dorje in the board game. The only somewhat obscure name here is Lalu. Most 2003 media just calls him by his title, the Maharaja, but his board game card and his key ring reveal that his name is Lalu. For the sake of brevity, I will not be covering the Orient Expedition newcomers in the rest of this video, because you can trust that their names should always be consistent. But of course, even now, the most notorious character is Lord Sam Sinister, a familiar villain with a new look and a new title. But one thing that causes a lot of confusion is, who is Lord Sinister? Is he Baron Von Baron, or is he Slyboots? Let's grab our deerskin hats and magnifying glasses as we follow the clues. The facts are these. Those who say that he's Slyboots Argue that it's because his name is Sam Sinister, he wears a top hat, and he wears black. Therefore, he's Slyboots. So Slyboots must have always been Lord Sam Sinister. End of story. Right? Objection! These arguments are very easily refuted. Yes, his name is Sam Sinister, but Baron Von Baron has been using that name since 2000. Yes, he wears a top hat but Von Baron already wore a top hat in The Lost Treasure of Ancient Greece. Yes, he wears black, but all four returning characters get new outfits and colors this time, and you don't see anyone confusing Johnny Sunder for Harry Kane just because he wears brown and flies a hot air balloon. As for everything else, it's clearly Baron Von Baron. The face and torso prints are almost identical, barring some added details. He has a hook for a left hand, he gets easily distracted by Johnny saying, Look, a baby T-Rex! Which would suggest that he was looking for a baby T-Rex at some point. And of the entire Adventurer's Rogues Gallery, 
there's only been one villain who's had a hand or hook in every sub-scene. Whether it's seeking the treasure himself in Egypt and Dino Island, or hiring someone else to do his dirty work in the Amazon. So who else would be Johnny's iconic arch-nemesis returning for the grand finale? But if Baron Von Baron is Lord Sam Sinister, then who is Slyboots? Did Lego erase Slyboots from canon? Did they fuse into a sinister Kaita? No, he's still a separate character. See? Here's Lord Sinister and Slyboots together, up to no good in Legoland. That should be the final nail in the coffin of, well, I've never seen Lord Sinister and Slyboots in the same room together. And there you have it. The detective has cracked the case. Slyboots may have had the name Sam Sinister originally in North America in 1998, but Baron Von Baron claimed the name internationally in 2000, and still held it when the scene concluded as Orient Expedition in 2003. That should be the end of it. But there's still more to this investigation, so unfortunately, we need to keep going. Before we move on from Orient Expedition, there's one last thing I need to mention. Despite my findings that all countries and all sources use the same names for the Orient Expedition cast, there may be one exception still waiting to be rediscovered. The GeoCities fan site mentions that Lord Sinister was also known as Orich Anhald. But where did this fact come from? The primary source remains unknown. Perhaps some mysteries will never be solved. You know, the uh, Hello. crystal skull from Doom out no, there, no, no, but no. at Legoland. You know, Indiana Jones was modeled after Johnny Thunder. Of course. Don't get it right. Well, that's it, mites. The adventurers have retired. To this day, Orient Expedition remains their last real adventure on toy store shelves. So, now that they found the Regal, Sundisk, Dinosaurs, and Golden Dragon, what will they do next? They're going to Legoland! For much of the remaining 2000s, Johnny Sunder remained a star at Legoland Resorts, particularly Windsor, Deutschland, and California. At Deutschland, a number of characters, including Johnny Sunder, Bablu, Lord Sam Sinister, and Dr. Kilroy, appear at the Puppet Theater in Search for the Jungle Diamond, Johnny Sunder and the Pharaoh's Crown, and Sam Sinister and the Secret of the Magic Light. At Windsor, Johnny takes a lead role at the LEGO City Harbor stunt shows Escape from Dragon Tower, Secret of Scorpion Palace, and Revenge of the Aztec Queen. Secret of Scorpion Palace also features Pippin Reed and Lord Sam Sinister, but oddly enough, there's a generic Sultan instead of Maharaja Lalu. Pippin Reed was also featured in an Orient Express attraction, Though the lack of information about this performance makes it unclear whether this was a show or a part of the Orient Expedition train ride. At California, Johnny Sunder, Pippin Reed, and Lord Sam Sinister prefer singing over stunts, as they perform together in Journey to the Lost Temple. Both resorts feature Lost Kingdom Adventure, or uh, Laser Raiders. Dang it, these name changes still continue as Sam Sinister kidnaps Pippin Reed, and Johnny Sunder asks for your help to rescue her. Oh, and uh, Dr. Kilroy's here too, but he never seems to get any focus. In all of these cases, the characters use their established names from Orient Expedition. In Johnny Sunder and the Pharaoh's Crown, Lord Sam Sinister actually uses an alias, Alibi. <laughs> get it? Although, one thing that's interesting to note is that Sally Dark Rides, the creators of Lost Kingdom Adventure, refer to Lord Sam Sinister as Sir Sam Sinister on their website. This title change is not present in the ride itself or on the Legoland website's description. Their minifigs are accurately recreated in rides, but costumes and makeup are more accurate for Journey to the Lost Temple than they are for the water stunt shows, which is an understandable compromise. Since Lord Sinister's costume is simplified to a black suit and top hat with an optional mustache, 
It isn't obvious that he is Baron von Baron, but he always has a hook, or at minimum, a black glove, on his left hand. During this time, LEGO club pages were overhauled and replaced with My LEGO Network. This featured a story campaign of sorts, where users could level up their profiles by completing quests and building masterpieces for NPC networkers. A small handful of networkers come from LEGO themes like Dino Attack and Alpha T, but there's one rep from Adventurers, and it's Dr. Kilroy, or rather, Dr. Kilroy. Yay! My LEGO network may be defunct and no longer functional, even on Wayback Machine, but the surviving materials and screenshots all do validate that the good doctor's name is spelled slightly differently here. Ah, <sighs> just when we thought we were done. Well, aside from that, at least we can rest easy knowing that the adventurers' names are mostly consistent ever since Orient Expedition, and there's nothing at all that can ruin it. Oh boy! After 10 years, the Ultimate Lego Book finally has a new edition! It's titled... The Lego Book. Huh. I guess they realized Ultimate doesn't work if there's going to be later editions. It's not much, but Adventurers gets a whole page to itself, showing sets from every sub-theme. The descriptions list several characters, and even mention some of their alternate names, possibly making this one of the first times LEGO directly acknowledges the inconsistent naming. The characters mentioned here are Johnny Sunder, aka Sam Grant, Joe Freeman. Pippin Reed, aka Pippin Reed, Gail Storm, Linda Lovely, Dr. Kilroy, aka Dr. Charles Lightning, Professor Articus, Harry Kane, Lord Sam Sinister, Senor Palomar, Rudo Viano. Alright, so everything makes sense so far. Johnny Sunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, and Baron von Baron use their established Orient Expedition names, and the remaining characters use their DK names. The three lead heroes also list their original North American, UK, and German names from 1998. It's also made clear here that Lord Sinister is the villain of Dino Island and Orient Expedition, affirming that he is indeed Baron von Baron. That's all fine and good. Oh, but what's this? Two for the price of one! The LEGO book comes with Standing Small, a celebration of 30 years of the LEGO minifigure, a companion book with photographs of hundreds of minifigures from dozens of LEGO themes. Adventurers, having such a wide cast, naturally gets a whopping four pages devoted to it. This is great! I can't wait to- Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> well, let's start with the characters that aren't named Sam Sinister. Johnny Sunder, Pippin Reed, Dr. Kilroy, Faroa Hotep, Senor Palomar, Rudo Viano, Achu, Caparros, Mike, Alexis Sinister, Mr. Cunningham. Already you can see some problems here. Pharaoh is consistently misspelled, which is just a proofreading error. Caparro has an S attached to his name, but we've already proven that he was only ever called Caparro, not Caparros. Unfortunately, because Standing Small was more widely available in 2009 than The Lost Temple or LEGO Island 2 for Game Boy Color, many notable fan websites like Brickset and Bricklink have adopted this incorrect name. Alexia Sinister may have been called Alexis Sanister or Alexia Sanister, but Alexis Sinister was a combination never seen before. But... Let us address the elephants in the room. For the first time since 2000, the adventurer's long-standing arch-nemesis is named 
Baron von Baron. To the book's credit, it at least maintains his name consistently between his Egypt figures and the Orient Expedition figure, reinforcing that it is Baron von Baron and not Slyboots who appears in Orient Expedition. But remember that Standing Small came included with the Lego book, which refers to the same character as Lord Sam Sinister and, unlike the heroes, makes no mention of this character having a name change. If you weren't already aware of the Sinister Switcheroo, and you just read these two books, wouldn't that be confusing? Not as confusing as what they call Slyboots. Lord Sam Sinister. Except here, where he's called Slyboot. The singular Slyboot, not the plural. They couldn't even get that right! Remember what I said before. This character was called Slyboot internationally, or Sam Sinister in North America, Lego Racers, and Soccer Media. He was never called Lord. The only Lord was Baron von Baron, starting with Orient Expedition. Calling Slyboots Sam Sinister is correct. Calling him Lord Sam Sinister is incorrect. And yet this book, which is full of multiple errors and inaccuracies, going well beyond the adventurer's coverage, calls him Lord Sam Sinister. In doing so, the case of the Sam Sinister switcheroo was reopened like an old wound. Just like Gabarros, you have notable sources like Brickset, Bricklink, and countless other fans who think that Slyboots is Lord Sam Sinister, all thanks to this one book. The same year saw the release of the minifigure Ultimate Sticker Collection. This uses all the same names as Standing Small, therefore reiterating its same errors as well. But there are two notable additions. Pippin Reed is referred to by that name in the Adventurers section, but goes back to Gale Storm in the Sticker section. Slyboots is not only called Lord Sam Sinister, but his description states that his former name is Mr. Hates, which absolutely never belonged to anyone other than Baron von Baron. All I can say is, what were they thinking? He just always, whenever I looked at that many of you, he looked very handsome to me. Also, he's extremely evil, which I sympathize with. In LEGO Universe, Johnny Thunder makes his first video game appearance since Soccer Mania. Unsurprisingly, he is named Johnny Thunder. Sure, his hat is the wrong color and he's missing his hair and sideburns, but believe me, it could have been worse. A lot worse. More recently, he also appears in LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed, where he's usually going by his full name, but shortens it to J Thunder in the menu. He continues to appear at Legoland Resorts as the host of the adventure-themed rooms, now joined by his wife, Amela. Sorry, Johnny Pippin Shippers. Although, weirdly enough, this version of Johnny looks a lot more like Jake Rains, most obviously missing Johnny's iconic mustache. On one hand, Johnny rarely has a mustache in the live-action Legoland shows, so maybe that's just being consistently inconsistent? But on the other hand, aside from this Facebook post and this talking statue, Johnny Thunder here, Sam Sinister's inside, trying to steal the treasure, and Pippin Reed's in danger! This character is generically called the world's greatest adventurer and isn't named Johnny Thunder. I'll let you be the judge. The collectible minifigures line name drops older LEGO characters and themes. I've already mentioned before that the detective famously solved the Sam Sinister switcheroo, but did you know that the grandma went digging for treasure with Johnny Sunder? Johnny Sunder even joins Minifigure Series 19, but since the minifigures only go by generic terms instead of names, he's called Jungle Explorer. For anyone who doubts that it's Sunder himself, it's been confirmed by graphics minifigure designer Austin William Carlson. But if you wanted a more classic rendition of Johnny Thunder that was still updated to modern printing standards, 
then you will be happy to see that the famed adventurer also returns in the LEGO Movie, as well as its tie-in sets and video game. Interestingly, from looking at the game and product descriptions in various languages, as well as recent publications like LEGO Life magazine, we can see that Johnny still has some translated names. In French, Johnny Tuner, or Johnny Tuner, without the H. In Italian, Johnny Tuono. In Spanish, Johnny Trueno. In Russian, Johnny Grom. In Polish, Janek Gzmont. In Portuguese, Johnny Travo. In Danish, Torden Johnny. Wait, what? Why'd they translate Johnny's name into Danish? His name has been Johnny Thunder in Denmark from the very beginning. I can't... The, what the... What the... The sense... The... the Ah, <sighs> that's it. I, I give up. Polish is also interesting because it's the only one that changes Johnny's given name. However, Janek is essentially the Polish equivalent of Johnny, so I'm still counting it as translated. Full name changes like Joe Freeman and Sam Grant are still a thing of the past. He retains the name Johnny Sunder on both sides of the pond and in Germany. Even if Germany can't decide whether it's Johnny on the Lego shop or Johnny in the video game. In 2012, the Lego book expanded and fully revised hit bookshelves, this time without standing small. The heroes and Amazon villains use the same names as the first edition, but it seems that the writers got wise to the reignited confusion caused by the Sam Sinister switcheroo. And so, they've set the record straight with a decent coverage of the two villains' naming history. Lord Sam Sinister, Baron Von Baron, Sam Sanister, Evil Eye, Mr. Hates, Sam Sinister, Slyboots. It does simplify the fact that Slyboots was the character's original DK and German name, and saying the second Lord Sinister implies that Slyboots was the first Lord Sinister, but this is a clear improvement over Standing Small and Minifigure Ultimate Sticker Collection. Fun fact, this edition of the Lego book is what confirms that Josh Thunder is Johnny Thunder's descendant. Like father, like son. Uh, grandson. Um, let's just stick with descendant. The next year, DK published another book, Lego minifigure year by year, a visual dictionary. Does this continue the corrections of the Lego book expanded and fully revised? Or does it double down on the errors of standing small? Let's see. Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, aka Gale Storm, Charles Lightning, Dr. Kilroy, Harry Kane, Baron Von Baron, Lord Sam Sinister, Sam Sinister, Faro Hotep, Senor Palomar, Rudo Viano, aka Max, Achu, Gavaros, Mike, Alexia Sinister, Mr. Cunningham. Well, there's some good news and some bad news in here. For example, Slyboots isn't called Lord Sam Sinister anymore. He's just Sam Sinister, which is correct. Unfortunately, there is no mention of Slyboot's original name. The book also mentions that Baron von Baron changes his name to Lord Sam Sinister, but makes one small error here. The Lord title came in 2003's Orient Expedition, not 2000's Dino Island. Lord Sinister's description, highlighting his hook and scar as a new look, would suggest that he is Slyboot. <sighs> Aside from that, Faro is no longer misspelled. That's good. Gabarro is still Gabarros. That's bad. Alexia Sinister actually goes by her Lego Mania name and not a made up combination like Alexis Sinister. That's good. Dr. Kilroy flips between his US and DK names, but Pippin Reed does not. That's... confusing? The 2021 Search and Find book, Everything is Awesome, 
features a number of adventurer's characters. The three that are named are Johnny Thunder, Pippin Reed, Flybooth, making this one of the few post-Standing Small examples where Flybooth uses his DK name first and foremost. Our adventure comes to an end at Manor Von Baron, the Lego creator expert haunted house. Oh, this set is beautiful. It's canonically the home of Baron Von Baron, and is full of all the treasures he's stolen, I mean, uh, art he's collected over the years, giving us plenty of references to adventurers, as well as Alpha Team, Fright Knights, and even Junk Bot. So, how does this set address the Sam Sinister Switcheroo? Here, the characters are named Samuel Von Baron, Sam Sinister, Pharaoh Hotep. Well, that is interesting. Acknowledging that he is both Baron Von Baron and Lord Sam Sinister, they opted to combine the two names into a single name that doesn't necessarily contradict either one. Not bad. Though there is the matter of Slyboots. In the instruction booklet itself, there's some ambiguity. The name Sam Sinister is only mentioned once, in reference to the top hat wearing Forbidden Skeleton, which could potentially represent either Slyboots or Lord Sam Sinister. But the LEGO Designer's video makes it clear that Sam Sinister isn't Baron Von Baron, and is therefore Slyboots. Then there was a villain called Baron Von Baron and Sam Sinister. They also make a bit of a joke with the inclusion of the twin butlers, who both have black clothing, top hats, eyewear, and facial hair, much like another duo of villains. And this just in, while I was writing the script, Pippin Reed has boarded the Orient Express and is off to her next adventure for World Magazine. Uh, or I guess it's World Journal now. Either way, while the museum curator is a little familiar, and the newspaper kit looks like someone we know, this is explicitly Pippin Reed herself, as confirmed by the building instructions, which use R-E-E-D, and that's consistent between all languages. For now, that concludes this case. To summarize everything that I covered here, the LEGO Adventures scene began at a time when most LEGO sets and characters had completely different names in different countries and markets, as names became standardized internationally in the early 2000s. The characters' original names from Denmark became that standard, with the notable exception of Mr. Hates, aka Baron von Baron, who took the name Sam Sinister in every region despite that name originally belonging to Slideboots in the US. For nearly a decade, this was consistent. But starting with 2009 Standing Small, there has been an effort by LEGO Publications to revert Baron von Baron and Slideboots to their 1998 US names, while keeping everyone else the same, which renewed confusion in the fandom over who is who. But just remember, Baron Von Baron is the hook-handed arch-enemy, and Slyboots is the accomplice with the glasses and the tuxedo, no matter what their names are. To this day, we still don't know for sure why Baron Von Baron was renamed Sam Sinister, or why Lego waited nine years before very clumsily course-correcting this. Honestly, I'd rather just have neither villain called Sam Sinister than to see Slyboots continue to fight Baron Von Baron over it. Yes, I know Slyboots originally had the name, but where the heroic adventurers go by their DK and Orient Expedition names most consistently these days, I don't see why the villains need to stick with their 1998 North American names against all odds. Perhaps Baron Von Baron may be more recognizable than Mr. Hates, which is why Von Baron is the name I've been using throughout this video instead, so I can see why that name is preferred. But calling Slyboots Slyboots 
would be much clearer and far less confusing than trying to go back to calling him Sam Sinister after almost a decade of Von Baron having that name instead. Or perhaps I am a little biased. I joined the Adventurers fandom in 2000 during Dino Island, so to me personally, Sam Sinister is the name I'll always associate with Baron Von Baron instead of Slyboot. So, how do we explain all of this? Here's my own canon, or should I say, mock canon, regarding the Sam Sinister switcheroo. Although this is all based upon the official publications I've previously described, and attempts to reconcile as much of it as possible, this is just for fun, so don't take this too seriously. The aristocratic Sinister family has its historical roots in the Royal House of Baron, which dates back to the medieval ages in Brixylvania. To remind everyone of their status, the Sinister Patriarch adopts a suffix, Von Baron. During the events of the adventurer scene, this title falls to Baron Samuel Sinister Von Baron. Samuel Von Baron is an art collector who uses a number of aliases during his dealings with the criminal underworld, including Mr. Hates, Evil Eye, Ali Bai, and the ever so clever Sam Sanister. But these are all just temporary pseudonyms. The only time he actually changed his title was when he went from Baron Von Baron to Lord Von Baron for no other reason than to stroke his own ego, because Lord sounded more powerful than Baron. Other members of the family include Samuel's sister, Alexia Sinister, and his distant cousin, Simon Bad Toy Sinister, or S.B. Sinister, better known by his nickname Slyboots, which shares the same initials. Slyboots is a former heavyweight prize fighter who took one too many hits to the head during his career, leaving him with the speech impediment heard in the Yaks Nachtem Unenschatz. Therefore, he struggles to say his own name. Simon ends up getting slurred to sound like Sam. As you can imagine, this causes quite a bit of confusion between Sam Sinister and Simon B. Sinister which the real Sam is willing to exploit to keep the police on a wild goose chase while he continues stealing priceless artifacts for his private collection in Manor Von Baron. Or maybe Slyboots isn't as dim as he appears, and is pretending to be the real Sam Sinister to throw the law off his own tail? Either way, in this cycle of villainous backstabbing, the two partners in crime are aware of their infamy and milk it for all it's worth. But hey, it's just a theory. A lame theory! He told it when he sold it. Hmm, what's that? Man built his set from Brain Market from me load it there and he sold it. Matt Pat retired while I was making this video? Brain Market, you slammed it from me. Darn, now I just kind of feel like a jerk for making that joke. But that's just my opinion. What are your thoughts? Which set of names did you grow up with and know these characters best by? Is there anything that I've missed? I would love to make a follow-up video covering any new evidence that may arise. Maybe I'll rediscover that 1998 Swedish print ad. Or maybe someone knows where Suwa Jacques has been hiding. So if you have any more clues to share, please send them over to the detective. I hope this video has been a valuable and educational resource for anyone curious about the convoluted history of LEGO Adventurers lore and character names. Thank you all so much for watching, and until the next adventure, goodbye, mites.